I ain't got no time for that. No time for that. No, no. If you hating on the kid, leave a message at the top. Got no time for that. No time for that. No, no. I be on the road and I'm flying home. All right. Thanks again for tuning in to see how Oakville basketball teams do. We finished the girls' season. It's finished. It's done. Our girls finished number two in Toronto. Congratulations, girls. Now we're gonna start with the boys, the Oakville Dragon boys. We don't have to worry about the whole tryouts. We're gonna bypass that. We're gonna go right into our regular season. So stay tuned and see how our boys do. After the open tryouts, here's our team. Let's go, Dragons. Our first game of the season is versus Beverly Heights. It's a home game. We'll have our crowd behind us. The identity of our team is to play fast, play good defense, and leave everything on the court. We have a highly skilled team led by our backcourt tandem of number 15 Wazir Latif and number 22 Kevon Watt. They are the engine that drives the team. I also got a great on-ball defender, number 31 Jason. He can D you up, he can shoot the three pretty well. The Golden State Warriors, they got the Splash Brothers. Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. We got our own version at Oakdale. I believe I got the best guard tandem in the whole of grade 8 basketball in Toronto was Zaire and Kavan. Wazir who is bringing up the ball right now. He can shoot it, pass it, and handle it. In my eight years of coaching, he's the best I've coached. I can't see a better player in grade eight basketball in Toronto. Not to be outdone is Wazir's winning mate, Kevon Watt. He can flat out play. He's lights out from the three point land. His most dangerous skill is his three point shot and his handle. They're a deadly combination. Not to mention he's quick, quick like lightning. the second half of the game. We've taken full charge of this game. Beverly just can't keep up with our pressing defense. At this point, we got the game in hand. I got our bench in. I still want them to play hard and fast. You never know, down the stretch, 
when we may need a bench player to play starters minutes. We win our first game of the season in convincing fashion. On to our next game. Our second game of the season is against Elia Middle School. Wazir gets us off going quickly with a quick layup. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Elia has built her on a half court press. I already know that going into the game. I have prepped our team for it. In the first half, we are trying to set the tempo of the game. We are trying to bait Elia into playing a fast tempo game. The truth of the matter is, if you don't know who you are as a team, you will think you can keep pace with us and execute at the same time. Many teams fall into this trap. Eli is now running at the pace that we set. What separates the teams is the execution at this pace. The quicker the pace, the more important it is to have great decision makers who can analyze the play quickly and then execute. We have this on Oakdale. This is what separates the good teams from the great teams. Executing through speed. I like to call it fast and furious. Our third game is versus Beverly. This is our second game against them. I'm looking to see what adjustments they have made. I got our team in attack mode. If we can jump on them quickly, it will take away their confidence. Beverly is putting up a better fight, but our pace and execution is on point.
game is in hand. We just need to stay humble and be hungry. We're 3-0 in our division. We've got the top seed. We still got a lot of things to work on, but it's a good way to start the season. So basically, you know what? Congratulations. Uh, we are now the number one seed for our poor area. true secret to success. Practice gets you ready for the game. If you practice right, you need not fear the game. If you don't practice right, you will fear the game. By practicing, you're making an investment into your future. At some point, you're going to need a return on your investment. Your practice habits won't fail you. You all sitting here thinking, oh, we're good, we're stars. You're not. Don't give us that. Don't read your your fresh clippings. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see you guys walk in the gym and act like you're giving stars. Don't do it. Right? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to hear you saying that you're good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to hear you see you. Oh, well, I whoop this guy. I whoop this guy. Don't do it. And I'm see. I'm seeing it right now. And when you guys are making layups or shooting these jump shots, you're acting like you're so cool. You're all you're all that. Don't get it twisted. You're not. Right? So when you come around, when you do shoot and drill. I want to see a guy come around, like pop, 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 on again, right? I want to see it. I want to see guys walking around, getting all acting like, no, I don't want to see it again. I don't want to see it. So you start and let me see it properly. During our practice, Coach Gordon notices that our players are not taking practice very seriously. It's one of the downsides of success. Now they think they've arrived because they won three games in a row. Well, it's time for them to be humbled. And the best way I humble our players is by playing them one-on-one. -on -one. We're just politely reminding them, you're not as good as you think you are. I always make sure my trash talking game is in full effect. They need to be cut down to size. Skill. But what they don't know, 
I'm in here every morning shooting basketball, shooting hoops, working on my game. And so when I play them one-on-one, -on -one, it's a wrap. Because guess what? I know right now they're probably sleeping in their bed. But I wake up and I shoot hoops every morning. Every year, I put on a staff for a student's basketball game. We'll play the grade 6 team, then after that, we'll play the boys combined grade 7-8 boys basketball team. It's a great way for staff and students to bond together, specifically the basketball team. Not only am I their coach, but I play against them. It's a great tool when it comes to disciplining and guiding students. They really see me not just as a teacher, but as a role model and someone who will play with them. And of course, I have fun beating them. Students have never beat the staff in the game of basketball. And it's not going to start today either. Yeah. Got no time for that, no time for that. No, 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 no. If you hating on the kid, leave a message at the top. Got no time for that, no time for that. No, 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 no. I be on the road and I'm flying home. So I don't got no time for that No time for haters, no time for traitors No time for imitating, instigating, infiltrators All for some paper, we turn cold like refrigerators Thought he was riding with you till he hit left on the indicator Now I'm navigating on the road trying to do this major I swear this time I do this major Burn a lot of bridges over business and bad decisions If money's everything, what you see is not what I envision I could do with it, but but what is it? I'm still living right Say you a Christian, but you sinning, you ain't living right Forget the critics if my image doesn't fit in like What the world's view of normal is, you better get it right I don't got no time for that You can judge me all you want, but I know I'm intact I fell a couple times, but now I'm climbing back You, you could reach your dreams depending where your mind is at you Sometimes we get negative publicity for that area, but uh this area is full of talent. Lots of kids who are um, just need guidance, just like anyone else, any other student, any other area. They need guidance, and what I do, I try to do my best to set an example for these kids, to let them know that they can accomplish anything they want in life, as long as they put their mind to it. They work hard. You can accomplish anything you want in life. So, so when I when I got to the school. I was just amazed at the amount of talent in the whole school. It's crazy. And a lot of people don't understand that. So when they hear about the, the shootings in the area, they hear about the negative things that happen. Unfortunately, people paint a whole brush and think that's the whole school. And that's not the whole school. And when I got a chance to do this video, this documentary, uh, I want to highlight all these kids and all that they can do. We're just as good as any other school in Toronto. Give them a chance and then you see what these kids can do. So I've been at this school for uh, eight years. It's been a good eight years. Um, we won, since I've been there, we won about, about six championships. You know, and these kids, I'm just amazed. Like, if, if they're able to do all this, and where are all these people saying that they can't do it and they can't be successful, they can't an education, they can't be doctors, they can't be lawyers, they can do it. They're just as good as any other student. Our next game is a home playoff game against Smithfield. I gotta get our guys ready for this one. Things will make a difference. When you catch the ball, you're turning in the right way, um, you're doing the right box, okay? This is a little stuff, it seems little, but this is what makes the difference, being good to great. Okay, we gotta do this every day. This is what practice does. The more you practice, the better you get. Okay, right now, I'm gonna give you guys a B plus today. I've done a little bit better. A lot of you guys are not paying attention. You're a little bit better. All right? Focus in on the task. Because right now, Smithfield is planning to beat you. 
They're training right now to beat you guys. Okay? And if you guys don't come correct, it's one and done. So if you lose, the season's done. Okay, so it's all up to you guys. You guys gotta come here, come prepared, ready to play, and have the right um, mentality. Let's go, Andrew. And Jamal, you get a good one, please. Dragons on three. One, two, three. Dragons! This is it. This is playoff. You win, you move on, you lose, your season's done. So there's no fooling around. No missing assignments, no missing layups. You gotta get serious with a drunk ball. No foolishness, guys. You cannot wait like some other games. You wait till, till second half to get, no, you gotta get going right now. From drunk ball. You gotta be up, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta get to your points. You gotta throw a box, know where you are. Make your layups. They're coming here to beat you, to send you home. Your season's done. So your mindset is, you know what? We're gonna take it to these guys, they're in our gym, we're gonna work the hardest. You can't just relax, you gotta have effort. Not like the last time you played, you gotta have effort. I need mean, everything from all of you guys, everything. Giovanni, be strong, no weak stuff. Y'all, same thing, go strong. I will not get mad at you if you play strong. Lead the team. Where is the come on? Yeah. Let's go. Lead the team. Okay? And my other starter is Jay. Where are you? Jason. Jason. Do what you do. Don't no, don't be, you know, um, you know, second guessing. Get the shot, pull it. Don't think twice. We're here to play ball. The rest of you, you know when you come on, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something. You can't be timid. Go out here and play represent Oakdale. We got the home crowd, but you're not playing towards the crowd. We are here to beat these guys. Listen, this is what we've been practicing all this time. Mm -hmm. This is what we're suicides. This is why you take the crap from us. This is why we take the crap from you. It's today. You understand? This is not, it's not March Madness, it's February Madness. Mm -hmm. Right? So we got to get this victory. We all know our assignments. Right? If you're not sure something, you look at us. We're here, right? As he said, the leaders lead. If you see a guy out of position, call him. Don't wait for us to call, you know, to call. Call him and say, let's go. Reset, whatever you need to do. They're here for this W. Smithfield has a stretch 4 on their team, number 12. He can shoot it, but I believe he's playing out of position on the defensive end. We got a stretch 4 on our team as well, number 14, Ya. Yeah. He can shoot the corner 3, that's his shot. Reminds me of a little bit of Patrick Patterson on the Raptors. For some reason, Smithfield has their biggest player, number 12, at the top of the key on defense. We got to take full advantage of this. We got to attack the paint. They got no help down low. Kavan is leading the charge. He's leading by example. He has picked up on my urgency to play like it's your last game. That's exactly what the playoffs are all about. We're not leaving anything to chance.
are no shortcuts to success. Matter of fact, if there was a shortcut, I wouldn't want to take the shortcut because I understand that there is, is a process. All championship teams have to go through is process. I don't care which championship team you are, at some point you have to go through the process. And you cannot skip steps. And so what the younger generation doesn't understand is that you gotta take step one, step two, step three. You can't go from step one to step five and be successful. You gotta take all the steps. And so there's no quick fix. You gotta work your way. Are you willing to work? already a blowout, but I still want my guys to be focused, run our sets properly, be disciplined, paying attention to detail, regardless of the score. That's what successful teams do. This is what championship teams do. game. So I prefer right now, congratulations, good game. But guys, we gotta get better. Our next game will probably be next week. It's a, it's a semi-final game. So we, if we win that game, that means we're going off to Bukdo for the championship. So the, our next game, that's the biggest game right now of our season. So if you're not going to class, if you're misbehaving, you pick the bad time to start that. You need to be on point now. No foolishness, guys. DeAndre's not here. Guess what? He messed up this morning. And he's not here. So this is exactly what I'm saying. So get yourselves in line. Do what you gotta do. But at the end of the day, all of this is up to you. If you want it, you can do it. Alright, so no, don't come out after school. Come on. Second day, right? Wait, our second playoff game is versus John English. It's a home playoff game for us. We got the so-called home court advantage. It's only an advantage if you're playing at a high level. In this game, 
I have no idea what to expect from drawing English. No scouting report. No nothing. I gotta go with my instincts. Both teams are playing at a fast pace. Once again, can they keep up with us? Fast and furious. We'll find out shortly. Playoffs are about one and done. If you lose this game, your season is done. And so when it comes to such high stakes, listen, I'll, I'll play Michael Jordan, I'll play LeBron James, I'll play Kobe Bryant. If it came down to one game, if it came down to one shot, that's why the playoffs are, it, it's, it's another ball game. They call it March Madness for a reason. Because at any given day, I don't care if you're the number one seed, I don't care if you're the lowest seed. It can go down today. So you better be ready, you better come correct. Because it's the playoffs. You win, you move on. You lose, you're done. Checking into the game for us is number 45, Daniel. He joined us late in the season, but he's been a welcome, unexpected addition. Not all your players are going to be skilled jaw-dropping ability players. Sometimes you need that guy who just grabs his lunch pail, does the little stuff that goes unnoticed. He's not flashy, he just gets the job done. He knows his role, he gets steals, rebounds and hustle plays. Track meet is over. John English couldn't keep up with the pace. We're moving on to the conference finals. We 
start our conference finals, we play against the Holy Crest Hawks. The winner of this game goes off to the city's final four. The scouting report says that Holy Crest has a legit scoring threat, number 35. He can light it up. As I've always said, I don't fear one player. I'm going to attempt to take number 35 out the equation by putting my best on-ball defender, number 2, DeAndre. If there's one great thing that DeAndre can do, it's defend. You won't be able to outwork him. In order for number 35 to beat me, He's going to have to outwork him for everything. DeAndre's job is to take him out of his game. If we lock him down, the team will fold. This is extremely frustrating for an offensive player to be guarded full court with harassing D. On offense, come, come hot, come to the foul line. Right? We don't get three seconds, come to the foul line because they're in a two-three zone, right? If, can it, if you think that they will be free, they gotta drop back, he's gotta dish it back up, right? Look, if you get it in here, right, they come up to you just doing that. Piece. Right now, the Hawks got to go to plan B. Their option number A has been taken away. If they can adjust quickly, We'll take the game. Mission accomplished. Our bench is in to close out the game. We're off to the cities. We're raising another red banner. Conference champs. Still got a lot of work to do but things are looking in the right direction. Same thing with the grade seven and eights. They're coming to beat you guys. Okay. The opening just walks in the hoop go. These guys have won their division, they won their conference. They're gonna be ready, they're gonna be organized. All right. And you know, I can just real real quick say uh, the grade eights you guys dominated your last game. The grade sixes, they wanted it more. We were losing that game. We wanted it. You know, you have to want it. Think about if you want to win the city championship. You know, yeah, they just played like he wants it. Vaughn and Wazir always play like they wanted. 
you know, Kavan was here, Giovanni, Shamar, yeah, all these guys have, you guys have unfinished business. We left in grade six with a, we, sh we could have, we could have maybe done it, maybe should have done it, but you have unfinished business. Now let's go get that back. Let's go get that city championship. The thing with life is you don't get this moment back. You can't come back here at grade nine and say, you know what, uh, I should have got that now. So what, what Baker's saying, you have the opportunity now, you gotta seize the moment. And even with the girls right now, I, I look back to the girls. We went all the way to the final game, we went undefeated. And in that last game, we were missing what? Layups. Foul yeah, we foul shots. And, it, and right now it's killing me because some of you guys are you're doing your layups and you're not even doing it really. You're, you're doing it and you're not, you miss, you miss, you start laughing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you, you realize that. Literally, you are almost stealing your own dream from Because guess what? You do that on Wednesday, you're not going to be ready. So you got to be serious about everything. Alright? We don't leave things to chance. I don't believe in luck. I don't, I don't believe in luck. I believe in hard work. When you work hard, things are going to work in your favor. Okay? Where are you going to look DeAndre? Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Stop fooling around. And he has a second chance to stop fooling around. I'm going to be honest with you, stop fooling around. You, just, you have way too much potential to be laughing when you miss layups. Because you're going to be, that laugh will turn into a cry on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I'm being serious. And I get on, and that goes for all of you guys. Take it seriously. Alright? You can't, you can't, you can't settle. You got to go for all of it. And that goes for everything. That goes for my, when you're in the classroom. You can't settle for a B. What I want, what should you be going for? Go for the A plus, man. Don't settle. And that's what I'm saying, right? You have B plus, you made it to Oop though, but don't settle. Go for the A. Well, that's it. Another episode is done. Our boys are undefeated. Yeah, yeah. They're killing it right now. They're having a great yeah, season. Yeah, 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 well, guess what? Yeah, yeah, Tune in next week. Get the oh, yeah. conclusion oh, yeah. See if our boys can raise another banner I ain't got there. no time for that No time for that No 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 If you hating on the kid Leave a message at the top Got no time for that No time for that No 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 I be on the road and I'm flying home